intertwining sports with thrills, action, kids, dogs, and animals. It's definitely a challenge. He was playing basketball in the first one, and then the second one was football, and now this one's soccer. I think that the audiences loved um, Air Bud 1 and Air Bud 2 because the first one was a very sweet movie, and I loved that. And I liked the second one just because it was also had the same feeling. It was like a really sweet family film. Here we go, Fisher. Here we go. We got it. You know, Buddy always deals with things in a positive manner. I think it's good to see a nice, clean movie out for kids. Love, warmth, and excitement. That's what it's all about, getting the smile in the, in the theater with the kids. And for me, that's the bottom line. It's a three-leveled story between Andrea and her best friend, Buddy and his girlfriend, Molly, and Josh and his girlfriend, B. Um, Emma. Josh is more into girls and stuff like any 15-year-old would be, so I like it. I play Josh's sister, and she's kind of a rowdy girl because she's kind of a tomboy, and so her and her friend Tammy, um, we go out spying one night, and we find out that Buddy is um, in love with this dog, Molly. <laughs> Also, they have little puppies in this film, because Buddy has puppies with Molly. Animals are a great place for kids to learn from, and sports are universal for kids. They're a great forum for learning. What's great is we have the Women's World Cup ladies, and they are very aware of kids' films. They really want to be involved in them. Today, something like this for me is a lot of fun, because I've been doing soccer my whole life, and a chance to actually put it on the big screen and have people enjoy it as much as I do is uh, really almost as, as exciting as the World Cup. This is just a whole different experience, and, and it's cool to see all these little girls out here. You know, you, you know, 10 years ago, it would have been a boys' movie. There wouldn't have been a girl in it, and uh, so I think it's cool. I think Brianna's position is probably the most equal to acting in that she could be called upon for three minutes to make spectacular saves and really make a difference in the game, like she did in the World Cup final against China. When we met her, both of us were like, you're really from the World Cup? What's it like? She said it's really fun, but um, got to make sure that you know what you're doing and don't go out there blind. These girls are great. They're very excited that I'm here, and, and I'm, I'm happy to meet them and everything. And I mean, influencing young girls is, is something we've come accustomed to. We take it very seriously, and we're, we try to be positive role models, and, and this movie is, is another example of that. I love animals. I always have, and I've always had pets. Oh, the puppies will be here today, so I'm happy. <laughs> Soccer and puppies. You get a shin guard. <laughs> Like the, size you, I like. exactly. the dogs are brilliant. Bonnie Judd, the animal trainer, she's done a wonderful job. Hi. Hi. Yeah. Here you go. All right. When we're training, we do it with motivation and food. Everything that we do, we try to motivate the dog to want to work. I think it looks really natural when you're motivating them. And so these guys want to work for us, like they like to do it. I've been really lucky. Um, the producer's done Airbud 1 and Airbud 2, and a lot of the same people are here. So they've already worked around dogs, and they understand what I'm up against. Here we go, and the camera's rolling. Hey, get that, shoot up. Dogs and kids. <laughs> if we're not there to have a good time, we shouldn't be there. <laughs>